Uh, yeah, I'm going to discuss a little bit um, having to do with heart problem consciousness and um, neuroscience because in philosophy of mind and neuroscience we have certain sort of ideas where we, where we have uh, Daniel Dennett and we have his side which is sort of where there's no qualia, there's no, no things like that, and well, then he's like, well, there's no hard problem of consciousness in that um, we can solve problems of the mind just through um, through the easy problems of the how the brain functions, and that's what Dennett's um, stance is. It has to do with the functions and you know the behavior and functions of the brain and the neurons and stuff like that that all that can solve what David Chalmers would say is the heart problem of consciousness is um, and then on the other side we do have David Chalmers who um, he is sort of he's sort of thinking about uh, things like this in, a, in terms of um, the hard problem of consciousness with it, which is um, how do we have any this or that perception or any perception at all? I mean, how do we have any of this that is, that is at all there? How do we have that? And how do we have, um, and how, how do I perceive others? And things like that. These are the, this is the hard problem. As Chalmers would say, that that is the hard problem, the problem of consciousness. And then, so we have this thing between the easy problems and the hard problems, and what Dennett would say is that there's no real hard problem, and that the easy problems, the function, stuff like that, that um, will solve the supposed Chalmers hard problem. And, um, well, and then there's the whole debate here is that um, which paradigm should we be doing here when we're, when we're doing you know, studies in mind? Should we have a neuroscience um, paradigm and approach? Or should we be more philosophical rather than go the hard problem of consciousness type of stuff? Um, and I guess we have also we have Francis Crick and Christoph Koch who, uh, who, are, who are neuroscientists and they will say that um, no, that that neuroscience will solve it, like the firing of neurons, and all this will help solve uh, what Ch what Chalmers calls the heart problem of consciousness, and that these things that neuroscience is figuring all this, what goes on in here, that will figure out um, how we have this perception or one perception or rather than none, rather than not none at all, and. Um, much. Um, and Chalmers is really against this. He's saying that no, there's a lot still up there, even though we can explain all of this through neuroscience and more neurons firing and stuff like that, that we can't explain how that how that neuroscience perspective yields the X, Y, and Z perceptions. And um, I don't know, what do you guys think about this? I mean, um, do you think that, neuro, that do you think that neuroscience should, 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 should this be a neuroscience first sort of thing, or should it be um, a philosophy first sort of thing? Because um, I mean, philosophy in that we're having we're pondering upon these hard problems and certain problems. Um, so I guess that's the question that there is. Um, and I would have to say that I agree with Chalmers here. That even though we can, you know, Francis Crick and Christoph Koch can explain the, what's going on here, the easy problems, you know, we can explain all of that, we can do that pretty well. That doesn't itself explain, it doesn't itself explain, um, how I'm perceiving certain things it doesn't explain it for me.
so I don't have to even reach out much there, so let me know what your thoughts are because I'm just kind of thinking about this and I'm trying to say that neuroscience is a great tool for you know figuring this out for your unconsciousness but it's not the um, the paradigm because we have to have to, we have to do certain other things and I'm not saying that philosophy should be first or neuroscience should be first. I'm saying that they should be both two things working together because neither one can solve anything fully. That we have to use these things to two together to sort of figure all of this out. Which is gonna take a long time, especially especially if one tries to conquer the other. No. Neuroscience is not going to dominate other attempts to solve things like the hard problems. So tell me what your thoughts are on this because I want to think this more.